turn this mic on real quick. Want to hear the difference between no mic and a mic? Here's no mic. And here's a mic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys are probably like, Nicole, why are you still in the same shirt? One, I like this shirt. Pam's Pretty Plants. Go check out her merch. Two, this is the fourth video I filmed in a day. <laughs> so why change clothes if I'm filming all the videos in one day? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I just realized you could see into my kitchen. Anyway, today's video is going to be a video on all of my hanging plants. I like hanging plants. Hanging plants give an aesthetic like no other. I mean, you have the cacti aesthetic. They're just, you know, sitting there all upright, doing nothing. And then you have hanging plants like this string of hearts. That's gorgeous. So let's look at all of my hanging plants. And since she's in view, let's start with my string of hearts. Let me give you a better view. She has been growing pretty much nonstop since I got her and trimmed it. I've given people cuttings. I have look at I mean it goes all the way down to here so from like the top of this all the way up that's the longest strand and it just grows it grows like crazy you see it puts off little offshoots here which is really cute because then if you look at it from this angle you can see another offshoot here and they spike up from up top it's just really healthy and really happy. And it's been in this terracotta for over a year. It gets a lot of light from all of these windows over here. I think it's gonna stay there forever because I don't want it to get mad at me. <laughs> Let's give it one more glance. It's kind of merging into my uh, Hoya Australis down there, but that's okay. Little hearts. She's so cute. This is actually a dog tail cactus. There's the right word. <laughs> and it's got some little buds popping out there, which I'm excited about. And it's hanging over the edge there. Now let's look at a rat tail cactus. Two of them actually. Here is my rat tail cactus. This has been in this pot and was actually hanging outside all last summer. And it is cute. Cute. I love rat tail cactus. They're so wonky and so awesome. This is hanging from my ceiling. Let me show you this other one. And this one is just in a regular planter, but I have it on a candlestick stand so it can hang over without hitting whatever this pot is sitting on. Because clearly it has outgrown its pot. <laughs> and repotting this, oh boy guys, I'm not looking forward to doing that. This hangy plant I recently got from Home Depot about a month and a half ago before we were all quarantined and it hangs in my kitchen window. I'm going to have to repot it once it gets a little warmer outside because I know that it's outgrowing this nursery pot that it's in. It's hard to see it because it's backlit, but this goldfish plant is just loving its life in this window here. And it's so pretty, the waxy leaves. Oh, I love it so much. I'm actually going to consider this a hanging plant because if I didn't have it staked up, I guess you'd consider this a climber, my Cebu Blue, but it could hang over the edge and it kind of is. I think I'm going to leave this one kind of trail down so it can be trailing and climbing. I love the Cebu Blue. I love the shape of the leaves and how they have almost like a silvery blue hue to them. All right, my next hangy plant is my Hoya Bella. This one I also have on another candlestick holder, just so it can kind of, I like using candlestick holders with regular planters because I don't have a lot of holes in my ceiling to hang plants up. So I like to just utilize taller pieces of furniture to kind of have them hang over the edge. And that's what this one's doing. This one's grown quite a bit actually. Oh, I'm going to take this down to show you. Please don't fall. My next hangy plant that I have is my Peperomia Fagerlandini. I think that's how you say that. Fagerlandini. Anywho, I've had this for a long time and she is super cute. It hangs all the way down almost to the point where it's hanging below the candlestick holder. I do have it set in this window here. Ooh. So as you can see, sorry, it's a little backlit, but it hangs over the edge of the windowsill. So it can still hang down like all the way to the couch if it really wanted to. 
but it's been in this window for a long time and I'm just afraid to move it. <laughs> it blooms literally every week, you guys, even through the winter. Those are all blooms. Oh, it's one of my favorites. So cute. OG hanging plant. This is my string of bananas. That's a little scarce up top, but it is hanging all the way. Sorry about the backlight. Down, 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 all the way down. If we take a step back, you could probably see it a little bit better. I mean, it's probably gonna go outside again this summer, guys, because it's mad. Ever since I brought it in the house last fall, it's been a little pissed off at me, but I can't blame her, so. But I just love how it looks. It almost looks like a curtain to these plants. And it does have some new growth on it. Let's see if I can show you. See all of these? Oh, the backlight is bad. I'm sorry. See all those little babies? There's another one. They kind of just pop up along the way there. Sorry, it's really hard to see because the window's open. This is my Monstera Peru. And right now it is trailing. It's kind of trailing, hanging out of the pot. There's a new leaf coming in there that I'm real excited about. But the leaves on these are just so cool. It's one of my favorite plants. I love it so much. Look at the texture. Okay, let's see if I could get this without taking it down. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Because I couldn't see it up there. This is my teddy bear vine. And as you can see, it's definitely trailing. It sits up on the shelf and it kind of just hits the shelf. I haven't found a spot to put it in yet that's like a really good spot. Does it need repotting? No, I think it's good. Um, so it just kind of sits up top here. So that's why I had a hard time. Ooh, where's the, oh, there it is. Oh, that was hard. I guess I can move it forward, but I want it to get light. So that's why I have it pushed back. That's <laughs> what happens when you make potatoes. I need to clean my oven because it sets off the alarm every time. Back to plants. Okay, this is my philodendron Brazil in a cracked pot there. That's kind of scary. I need to get it in a new pot. It is in Lekka and it is hanging over the side of the shelf here. So cute. I love it. I could have this climb. It might be happier climbing. But I just like how it's trailing off. I like looking at it from this angle. And how cool would it be if it just kind of trailed all the way down? So pretty. So, so pretty. I got this plant from Pammy's Planty Things last summer. And it's just, look at the variegation. It's so pretty. I love it. My string of pearls. I just have it in a cash pole, but it is in terracotta and soil. Um, and it's just trailing away. It is getting some new pearls. I just recently fertilized all my plants for the spring, so I have a feeling that it's going to peak in growth. But so far, she's pretty happy. Ooh, look at them fungus gnats, though. Yikes. Those all come from this plant specifically. I already know it. I know this has fungus gnats. I ain't doing anything about it until the summertime. <laughs> it's going to go outside. So this is my OG donkey tail. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, look. It's another Pam's Pretty Plants merch. <laughs> I love this mug. See how it's trailing on that side. Little scarce here. So what I might do is I'm, when I repot it, I might clip this and clean it up a little bit. It's going to be a beast to repot, you guys, but it needs it. <laughs> this is actually a cash po. It's sitting in a nursery pot in here topped with stone. So let's see if I can get to this side. Yeah, there's some back there, just trailing away. Skin dapsis, you are a humidity ho. All right, next trailer that I don't even know if it's supposed to be a trailer. <laughs> this wonky Peperomia Hope. It's so weird, like, what are you doing? Oh, don't mind the dog food and the shoes and the closet. Oh, gosh. And it pretty much just trails off the side of the shelf. What I think I'll do is I think I'll cut it here eventually, propagate it, cut it here, propagate it because there's nodes here, and then I can fill in the top a little bit more. It's just growing really wonky, and I like the wonky ones. So here is my Peperomia rotundifolia, and it's doing really well. Wait, let me see if I can get a better view because it's backlit. 
There we go. Really cute little leaves. It trails down off to the side. I do have it on this candlestick holder again, so it can kind of just fall down. Boom. Okay, so I do have some plants downstairs, but Jay is in the middle of filming, so I don't want to go down there. But one of the plants I have down there is a lipstick plant, but it's propagating. And you guys saw that, I believe, in another video. I'm not sure. If you haven't, I'll just make sure I talk about it in another video. But that's the only trailer I think I have down there. Hanging plant, I think. Let's end this video with Jazzy. Come here, Jazz. Come on, Mama. Sit. Good girl. Okay, let's say bye. All right, guys, that's it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. This is Jazzy. Jazzy, say hi. Jazzy, say hello. Uh-oh. Jealousy. This is my other dog, Prime. Can you go? You want to sit with me, Jealousy? Come here. Sit. Okay, let's end the video. Stop. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for joining me in this video. It was a random one. See you in my next one. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. You want to go outside? Well, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>